In this video, we are going to see how to solve a fixed beam using moment uh, area method. So consider a fixed beam with a point load of 100 kN from 4.5 meter from left support and 1.5 meter from right support. Name it A, B and C. Split this fixed beam into two parts. First, simply supported beam with internal load of 100 kN. And second part, fixed beam with external moment which is MB and MA. Sorry, part 2 and part 1. Now, calculate reaction RA and RB. RA and RB you can find by uh, using direct formula WB by L and RB W A by L. Here W means 100 kN. B distance means this is A and this is B. So B 1.5 divided by whole length 6 meters. So we will get 25 kN RA and 100 into 4.5 divided by whole length 6 you will get 75 kilo newton or otherwise you may also use ra plus rb is equals to upcoming load your upcoming load is 100 kilo newton so 100 kilo newton then taking moment at a here taking moment at a so take your sign conventions i have taken uh, right right side of the support downward direction plus and uh, right side of the support upward direction negative so it's upward right right side upward negative so negative ra rb into whole distance 6 downward 100 downward positive 100 into distance 4.5 so plus 100 into distance 4.5 is equals to 0 solve you will get rp as 75 kilo newtons positive therefore upward direction we have got ra rb as a 75 using this equation RA plus RB is equals to 100 kilonewton. So put the value of B in this. So you will get RB as 25 kilonewton. Upper direction. So we have got RB as 20, 75 kilonewton and RA 25 kilonewton. Now draw uh, M upon EI diagram for part 1 and M upon EI diagram for part 2. So for part 1 it's in downward direction so I have taken downward direction as a positive and upward direction as a negative so it will be something like this. So for this point the value will be W A B by L. So W will be 100 kN A 4.5 and 1.5 divided by whole length 6. You will get the value of this point as 112 
upon e i the whole value will be s upon e i because this is known as m upon e i diagram so the whole diagram will be positive so in second for second the moments are in downward directions so so in downward direction sorry in this, it's are in upward directions so i have taken uh, clockwise as a negative so negative ma and negative mb divide into two parts part 1 and part 2 next by using a plus a dash is equals to 0 a a dash means a means uh, area of first part means this part area of first part part 1 m upon a diagram we have to calculate area of this part and a dash means area of second part which is this part this is whole negative so calculate a means this part and a dash means second part so area for triangle half into b into h so half into 1 12.5 upon ei into 4.5 which means I have taken this much of triangle half so uh, I have taken this triangle so half into b into h plus this triangle this much it is 1.5 so plus half into 112.5 divided by ei into 1.5 next a part is come so calculate same for the second part so plus minus ma into 6 upon ei okay, which means this is ma and this is m b as it is a rectangle it will be b into h so ma into 6 next plus minus half into b means b means this one mb minus ma we have to get this much so mb minus ma upon ei ma and mb into distance 6 ok so after calculating this you will get the uh, equation like ma plus mb is equals to 112.5 kilonewton into meter give this equation as number 1 so now calculate a x plus a dash x dash is equals to 0 now x means cg of part 1 and x dash means cg of part 2 so same area into cg for first part plus area into cg for second part so same procedure half into 112.5 divided by ei into distance 4.5 into cg cg one third into 
4.5 plus 1.5 we have to take cg from here here to this much distance this is one third and this is two third so one third into distance plus forward distance completed for first part now for second part plus half into 112.5 divided by ei into 1.5 distance into its cg 2 by 3 into 1.5 which means distance from here to here for second part minus ma into 6 upon ei into cg3 ma into 6 up divide by ei in cg at center 6 by 3 6 by 2 it means 3 now for this triangle plus minus half into mb minus ma upon ei into 6 into 1 third into 6 so cg from here 1 third into whole, dist whole distance 6 so after calculating this equation uh, you will get 2ma plus mb is equals to 140.625 name this equation as equation number 2 here equation number 1 and equation number 2 equate equation 1 and 2 ma plus mb is equals to 112.5 and 2ma plus mb is equals to 140.625 minus 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 this will be cancelled out therefore you will get ma is equals to 28.125 kilonewton meter so we have got the value of ma here the value of ma here we have to calculate ma value of mb so put the put the value of ma in equation number one so you will get ma is equals to 28.125 kilonewton into meter put value of ma in equation one so you will get value of mb as 84.735 kilonewton meter so we have got the value of ma as 28.125 and value of mb as 84.375 So the value B is greater so we have to take the reactions as VB as downward and V as upward. So value of VA and VB will be calculated B upon uh, M upon L. M means difference of these two and L means whole distance. So 28.125 minus 24 point uh, sorry 84.375 divided by 6 so you will get value of v as 9.395 and 9.395 put this value over here 9.395 and here downward 9.39 5 so 25 plus 9.395 we have to upward direction we have to plus and in downward direction we have to minus so plus the this both of 25 and 9.395 so you will get reaction at a as 
here 25 minus 9.5 because it is in downward direction so 25 uh, 75 minus 9.395 so you will get here 84.375 after completing this we have to plot shear force and bending moment diagram so let us draw shear force and bending moment diagram a complete beam For shear force diagram, I have taken a positive and uh, left side upward as a negative. So this is a draw a baseline first. This is in upward direction. So for upward direction, it will be negative. So negative 84.375. There is no load, so there will be linear uh, constant and minus. This is minus and downward direction plus. So minus 84.375 plus 100, 100, you will get a positive value as 15.625. There is no load, so there will be constant line. And here it is positive 15.625. And from here it is negative 15.625. Uh, Therefore here it will be 0. This is our shear force diagram. Now bending moment diagram. For bending moment diagram, I have taken right side anti-clockwise as positive and left side, uh, sorry, right side clockwise as negative. So draw a baseline. Here we have got two moments, moment at A and moment at B. We have got 84 point uh, 84.375 and over here 28.125 downward 84.375 for here for here it will be for B right side it will be 0 for B left side it will be negative 84.75 for C point it means this C point for C right side it will be negative 84.75 plus 84.375 into 1.5 distance so you will get 42.18 and uh, C there is no support there will be only one so for a right it will be negative 80 28.12 28.12 and right side left is equals to 0 kN so shear force will be negative 84 positive 42 and negative 28.12 so negative positive and negative here is BM diagram so thank you for watching my video and uh, comment below for a next video which you want to see or which method you want to be learned by me so thank you